When people walk into this particular installation here at the Armory, I think what's interesting is some people say, this makes me very happy. Hmm. Or they say, this makes me very sad. And it's, it's interesting because it's that taut line. It's that it makes you both. This is the line between happy and sad because this really is us. My understanding is that um, art has the ability to uh, express another person's ex life experience and perspective and potentially give new information and open up minds. If this happens, this is a good thing. And then the um, separately, if when you look at art and you're inspired, separately one could potentially be motivated to um, get involved with activism and to um, change policies. So two separate elements, not one. Uh, I do think that art has a huge and important role in sustainability and in the whole like social network because uh, it dynamizes the scene. I mean, art is, after all, like the, the, the final result of, uh, of a group of people who, uh, after being involved with reality, staying in touch with reality, take distance and point, point the whole society to different uh, problems and uh, in such a way they are like a motor of society. So it has a lot to do and it's, I mean, for everything, for the whole development. Especially in a country that has so many political, economical and uh, uh, social tensions, artists have been uh, like witnesses of the whole reality and through their work they have uh, like, uh, how you say that? I don't know if that's a word in English, but to like immortalize or uh, many of, of those problematics just to remember us that those things happen and uh, in other times just like remembering also us that future is, is going to be like different and uh, they've been really really important and, and I mean in arts, music, everything, I mean the art as a bigger thing, they've been really important for Colombia's development. So the one thing that I would say about social change is that it's very important that um, the people that are going through it uh, are given space to say what happened to them and that it's recorded so that in the future uh, people, so that it won't become utterly lost. When you have like a vacuum in the historical record like that, if, if, it, sh if it can be filled at all, I think it's often filled by people working in creative fields, like novelists, playwrights, and artists, um, that can try to look, search for the information that's there and try to just try to imagine. And it's a work of imagination. Yeah, I really believe that art can change a thought. I really believe that art can change a possibility of living. So our gallery is based in downtown Rio so and it's very close to a most popular uh, open market so a lot of people pass by you know and it's very very strong how people stop and people wants to know and people have doubts and likes and dislikes and makes them think different so I really think that art uh, uh, irradiates culture and it's a really possibility of changing and changing in a all the 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 socio and the economic economical and practical idea they don't get it right away you know when they look at for example it's it, there's a clear difference between this uh, Geneva for example versus Zurich Zurich is like the big brother it's a very strong image of Switzerland so they have their own um, they have their own sort of identity Geneva sort of lost people know it or they don't, they think it's a banking city, they think it's just about watches and nice cars and pretty houses and a beautiful lake and there's just as much questioning and, 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 and um, how would you say it, as much, um, there's almost power in, in their expression in the Swiss French side as much as the Swiss, French, uh, Swiss German side, so it's definitely there, it's just not, not right away recognized. But some of the strongest artists that are coming from Switzerland are coming from the Swiss French side, and they're very, they're represented all over the galleries here, and they're very, they're quite clear and very, they're not little, little sheep. 
I, I think it's very brave to continue to make environmental pro projects, and I think it really doesn't affect everybody. You can see some people walk in and walk out and they're not affected by it, but some people are deeply moved. And I think it's really interesting because you only, when you get a few, it translates and it transfers into so much more than that. And everybody needs a contemplative moment. And everybody really th needs to think about what's important to us in the world and what kind of society we leave for the next, what we leave for the next generation. And I think that this says that as strongly as one can say that.